All right, what's up guys? In this video, uh, I will be testing three batteries uh, with this uh, Ryobi inverter. I'll be testing the batteries with this uh, inverter using a 65 watt uh, bulb. If you saw my last video, I uh, upgraded one of the fake batteries with uh, good uh, batteries that I pulled from a uh, Ryobi battery pack. Uh, so they're good batteries. Uh, I'm going to show you one of the batteries here. So these, this is one of the batteries. Well, I put five. I replaced all five in here to these uh, EVE two, uh, two amp hour batteries. So this was in a Ryobi four pack. <laughs> Ryobi four pack. Ryobi uh, four milliamp hour battery. Four amp hour battery. And I replaced it. I removed these. This battery was in these fake uh, Ryobi batteries. It was a uh, this 18650 uh, 0B22R 3.6 volts. And um, I showed you a little test on the battery working. So here, the one with the duct tape is the modified battery. This battery has the good cells that I put uh, replaced with. This one is the fake battery with the cheap cells in it. So this is the so if you buy one from eBay or Amazon, this is what you get with the cheap batteries. Um, yep, that's it. And I'll be putting um, putting up these two up against uh, this Ryobi two amp hour high performance uh, battery. The model for this battery is PBP zero zero three. This is one of Ryobi's, uh, I think, new line of batteries, the high performance. So I'll be putting them up against uh, each other to see uh, if, uh, you know, which one wins. I already think that, well, I'm assuming that the authentic Ryobi battery is going to outlast these two. But this uh, modified one does have uh, good cells in them. They got two amp hour cells, um, and they're uh, you know pretty good brand. Though uh, this fake battery with the fake uh, uh, 18650 cells, this claims to be three uh, amp hours. There you go, three amp hours, so it's 54 uh, watt hours. Um, and then the real one. Let's see if I can find that. This claims to be 36 watt hours. And this is 54 watt hours, so 2 amp versus 3 amp versus modified 2 amp. And uh, like I said, I'm going to be using this Ryobi inverter. Now, this inverter, I have no idea how efficient, efficiently it uses the battery. But this would be like a, a good example of which one uh, lasts longer or, you know, it's a better battery. Uh, even though this uh, modified battery does have good batteries in them, I don't know if the circuit board uh, is good, you know, at uh, using the power of the batteries efficiently or not. Uh, because I know that the real Ryobi batteries have like a huge thick heat sink and uh, a lot more components on the board than these two. Uh, but overall, we're going to test them out and uh, see uh, which one lasts longer. So, up first, we're going to test the, let's test the fake Ryobi battery. The fake one with the cheap cell. So, this is the bare bone fake battery that you get if you buy it from uh, eBay or Amazon. Uh, this is a Vanon uh, 18 volt, 3 amp hour uh, battery, model P102, battery type lithium. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use this one for the test. Here's how the test is gonna be. I'm gonna plug this in to the inverter. It's gonna power this 65 watt. All right, uh, this is gonna be the test uh, here. Fake battery, cheap cells, inverter, 65 watt uh, LED, not LED. I keep saying LED, uh, just light bulb, 65 watt light bulb.
Alright guys, as you saw in the comparison, the fake battery, uh, the light bulb turned off at around 20 minutes and 12 seconds. The modified battery turned off around 22 minutes and 35 seconds. And the real 18 volt uh, uh, high performance battery uh, lasted 24 minutes and 56 seconds. So, um... Definitely the fake battery is not 3 amp uh, 3 amp hour. It's a uh, 2 amp hour um, That's why it was similar to the modified that actually has 2 amp hour batteries So the fake one is not 3 amps 2 amps and the real Ryobi battery lasted um, Pretty much four minutes compared to the fake The modified one lasted 22 minutes. So it's like two minutes off from the real one um now this test is uh can have many flaws i am using an i am using an inverter so i don't know how um efficiently it uses the battery uh for the light bulb but this is the only test that i could do uh without you know spending two like hours uh recording like a fan or a drill or like a leaf blower which I think the leaf lower would have been done uh, a lot quicker, but the light bulb was easier uh, test to do. And that was it for the video. Um, the fake battery, like I said, 20 minutes and 12 seconds, running a 65 watt light bulb. The modified one with uh, better cells in them. Now. Let's not forget that the modified one, if you see my last video, the batteries are connected uh, using uh, soldering iron and they're and using copper wire. Now I don't know if there's any power loss or like connection loss between that, uh, between the batteries, causing the battery to, um, you know, not perform as good, but it's only two minutes apart from the real thing, from the high performance, so, you know it's it turned out all right um and if you do uh modify your own batteries your batteries uh you can uh if it works you can probably uh make one of these batteries like a three amp hour battery by play um replacing them with three amp hour batteries uh that supports drills uh, or 18 volt drills batteries and uh that was my little uh video that i wanted to show you um if you have any questions or if I did anything wrong or there are inaccuracies in my test, please let me know. Like, dislike, leave a comment, um, subscribe if you want to see more weird videos like this. Um, uh, Alright, thank you for watching. Bye.